Hey gals and guys, this is Wartortle from Lexi's Help Desk, and today I'm going to walk you through building your first merge as part of installing the merge page while installing Lexi's guide. Now, if the instructions that you see in the text of the merge page differ from what's in this video, follow the text. This video is only accurate as of time, the time of, uh, that I made it, and the instructions may change in the future. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to Mod Organizer 2. And this is probably something like what you see. The last thing that you installed was the end of page four, the conflict resolution files. You haven't yet installed any of this yet. And the first thing that we're going to do is create a template profile that we can use, one for each of our merges. So click here on Configure Profiles, the little ID card, and it'll bring up all the profiles that you have. You probably only have three of them. This Lexi LOTD profile, the default one, and a vanilla Skyrim profile. You won't have all these other profiles that I have made. You'll make them all, but you haven't yet. So highlight Lexi LOTD and choose copy, and then name it blank profile for merges. Click OK. This is going to be our template that we build each merge off of. Highlight it and then choose select. After it switches over, you may need to highlight it here, but make sure that it says profile and then the blank profile for merges is here. Go ahead, right click anywhere in the left pane, go to all mods and choose disable all. Choose yes when prompted. Now we're going to disable everything so that we have a completely blank slate to work from. Now we're then going to click back here on Configure Profiles and create our first merge. Let's switch over to the website for a minute. As you scroll down, you can see that the first merge is this one, Animals Merged. So we're going to name our profile Animals Merged. I'm going to highlight blank profile for merges and choose Copy. And the name I'm going to give it is Merge Animals Merged doesn't really matter the name of this, it's just your organization. So choose something that makes sense to you. But it should say Animals Merged somewhere there. Okay, now I can highlight it and choose Select, and then up here in my profile switch over to it. It should be at the bottom, Merge Animals Merged. Now this is the profile that we're going to build our merge from. To do it, we're going to use a plugin called Prepare Merge. To do that, you actually have to start on the main profile. So go back to Lexi LOTD. We're going to set this profile as the base that we're going to use uh, when using that plugin. So go ahead and click on the puzzle pieces. You should see Prepare Merge that you installed as part of the prerequisite page of Lexi's guide. Go ahead and left click it. Down here at the bottom, you'll see this button that says load active profile as base. That's the one you want to click right now. Left click it and then you can close the window. Now that we've set that as the base profile, we can switch back over to the merge animals merged profile. Once you do that, go back into prepare merge. And this is where the magic happens. Switch over to the merge page and you'll see this is the list of plugins that are going to go into the merge. Now, you can activate each one manually. You can go here to the prepare merge and use the filter at the bottom to type the first plugin and drag it over and do that with each plugin, but that's fairly time consuming. Um, but that's, that, that's the manual way to do it. Um, if you're using Firefox, by holding down the control button and left clicking the first plugin and holding it down you can actually highlight all the plugins all at once and when you do that press control V to copy or control C to copy and switch back to prepare merge and you can then use this button import entries from clipboard and it'll automatically load all those plugins here now, if you don't use Firefox, you can use uh, 
there are a few other uh, browsers out there that have plugins that you can use to copy uh, a single column of a table. Uh, I'll link some of them in the description to this web uh, to this video so that if you use something other than Firefox, uh, you can look for it. I don't use it, so this is what I know. Uh, and and if you if your web browser doesn't support this, you can always just do it manually. Now that I've loaded all of the plugins in the order that I want, I'm going to click this button, Prepare Merge in Active Profile. You say, yes, I am sure, and then close the window. And if you go back to Mod Organizer 2, you can now see that every plugin that we need is listed here at the bottom, and every master that's required by those plugins is loaded up here above. You can see there's a warning here at this patch, but we're not using it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and, and we're now ready to actually build the merge. So this step used to take a long time because you had to do it all manually. This plugin has really sped up the whole process. So we're now going to go into Z-Edit in order to build the merge itself. On the executable bar, left click and scroll down until you see Z-Edit. Click Run and let Mod Organizer 2 load the program. Here, you can choose between the different functions of the program. For this, we want Z-Merge. Make sure it says Skyrim SE and choose Start Session. As Z-Merge loads, um, you'll eventually see all of the merges that you have created. Now, right now you're not going to see any, but you'll see these start to appear as you build them. You can see that I have a whole bunch listed. Um, and uh, I've deleted the animals merge because I'm building it here, so, so we can't find it. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to Create Merge. Left click and it'll bring up this dialog. If you go back to the website, You'll see here it says Merge Name. Go ahead and highlight that and copy it, pressing Control C, and in the Name section, paste it. Um, you'll see that it automatically populates the file name. Now, this is important. Here at the file name, it's different. It doesn't have that merge at the beginning. So go ahead and Highlight and copy animalsmerge.esp and paste it in the file name. The file name has to match identically. The name of the merge itself is somewhat immaterial, but this line has to match. Um, so under merge method, there are two choices, clobber and clean. You actually want clobber, the old method. Um, after you've done that, go to load order tab here and choose Use Game Load Order. You can then go to the Plugins tab, and now this is where you actually choose which plugins are contained in the merge. So if you remember, we want Critic Kitty Horses for SSE.ESP all the way to the bottom. Now, it's not a bad idea to double check that against the list that you see on the website. But once you highlight them all, and you can do that again by left-clicking one of them, hold down Shift, and highlighting the bottom one, you can then right-click and choose Toggle Selected. That'll activate all the plugins that you need for the merge. Go ahead and click OK. And here at the bottom, you can see it's now ready to be built. We've never built it, and these are the plugins. Now, a good double check is to make sure that the data folder listed is actually pointing to where the mod is. If it's not, you may need to set the integration settings uh, that you did as part of the first uh, setting up of Z-Edit. Maybe you did this wrong. Um, the merge settings will say where the output actually goes. Okay, so you need to make sure that you did both of those. And now we just click Build. Um, it'll take uh, a few seconds, not too long, for Z-Edit to take the data contained in all of these plugins and smash them all together into a single plugin. Um, and that way uh, we can get the same amount of data with fewer plugins. Go ahead and close this, and then you can. it says that it's up to date, so you can go ahead and 
close Z edit. Now, you see this button delete, never delete these. You need each of these profiles for a later step, particularly when you relink scripts. Um, and so that will only work if this profile is still there. So don't delete it. Okay, I'm gonna close the edit and go back to Mod Organizer 2. And if I scroll all the way to the bottom and refresh, you can see I now have my new mod here. I can go ahead and activate it, and now Animals Merged shows up on the left side. Um, now, I'm still on my Merged Animals Merged profile, which I don't want to be, so I'm going to deactivate that and switch back to my main profile. And here is where I'm going to activate it. Now, the last step is to hide all of the plugins that we merge together because since we have the merged file, we don't need the original ones anymore. So go back up to the plugin icon and go to merge plugins hide. Left click that and you'll now see a list of all of the merges that are active in the left pane that you've created. Left click and highlight it and then right click to choose disable plugins. Once you do that, you'll find that all of the plugins have been removed from the right pane here and have been moved into the optional folder inside each mod. So, uh, you know, you may worry, hey, where, where did they go? Um, well, this is where they went. So let's look at realistic horse breeds for a minute. If I find it and double click, if I go to optional ESPs, you can see it's now here on the optional side. So it hasn't deleted it, it's just moved it out of the way into this folder, actually optional uh, folder. So if for some reason you, you can't find it and, and you need to manually move it back, this is, this is where the file is. Um, and that's it. Now um, you go ahead and you do that for every merge uh, on the merge page, right? Now, I mean, once you get into the hang of this, each merge will probably take you maybe two minutes to kind of copy, paste, build the merge. It, it actually goes quite fast. So um, I hope this was useful. Um, I hope you understand how to use the prepare merge plugin, the merge plugins hide plugin, as well as using Zmerge itself. If you have any further questions, come over to the Discord on Lexi's help desk. Folks there are always happy to help.